I'm Chris Mackey. I am the Community and Economic Development Director for the City of Phoenix, and I had the privilege of helping Facility Source through its site uh, location decision making and continuing to work with the team as they're bringing on a new workforce. So I'm honored to be here tonight opening up our wonderful event in this gorgeous space. And first up will be Councilwoman Laura Pastor, who is the Councilwoman of this district. Councilwoman Pastor. Thank you. So welcome to Midtown, where, where everything is hip and modern and moving. And what I enjoy about this space is that it, it's so modern and hip. I was like, I need to come to this facility to listen to great music, great environment and uh, be able to be here. So thank you for moving to Midtown. Uh, I, re I reap the benefits of all of this. And uh, you're right on the light rail. You're right near the museums. Great shops, well, little shops, but local shops, but also great restaurants. So I am excited that you're here. I am looking forward and working with you. I'm actually looking forward to listening to more great music. Uh, and uh, hope you enjoy your new space. I think you would. Uh, district 4 is really the hip district to be in. So thank you. You know, I first started with the city of Phoenix, uh, really trying to un understand Midtown, and that's the market that this building is located in. I sat down with Councilwoman Pasteur, who has uh, been around virtually her whole life in this market and got a really good understanding. And, and, and she says it's hip. Well, last week, the Business Journal's article was, Midtown is hip town. And so it is, uh, it's definitely part of why Facility Source is here, it, a hip young company, and excited to have you here in Midtown, part of the revitalization of this market. So this market has been here, it's about a 13 million square foot market, and it had been here and pretty vacant for a long time, and now it is just going crazy, and part of that is because of Facility Source, and it's, uh, its reinvigoration of this market, and its dedication to this market, but not only that, the building owner has been doing amazing things, and moving heaven and earth to get people into the space and uh, really changing the face of, of the way the building itself looks. So um, really glad you're here. And with that, I will present Chris Camacho. My, Cynthia, am I doing it right? Uh, she always, I always get in trouble because I don't do it right. I get people out of order. I talk too long. I don't talk long enough. So um, with that, I'll bring up Chris Camacho with the Greater Phoenix Economic Council. Well, Councilman Pastor said I could read her script tonight, which is essentially says the district is hip. We, we walked into hearing Michael Jackson and Justin Timberlake, and I don't think I've ever been at a press conference where we had the pleasure of walking into that kind of music. Uh, as, as someone who leads the regional strategy on the economy, it's, it's certainly a pleasure for me to be here tonight. Obviously, my favorite city in the country. Uh, we were leading the nation in, in tech jobs. This was just announced last week. CBRE, who, who runs the, uh, the strategy on this particular building, uh, released a report that recognized the Phoenix market outpacing San Francisco as the leading market for technology jobs. And this particular site and this, I think, the vibe in Midtown, I will tell you a quick story. About a year ago, a little less than a year ago, Chris Mackey was in Chandler, Arizona, and she was uh, considering moving over to the city of Phoenix. And she came to me and said, well, what do you think? And I said, what a great opportunity for you to supercharge the momentum in this particular marketplace. And she said, well, what about Midtown? I said, Midtown is, is the future core or, or bedrock of our community. And we need to ensure that we have uh, you know, great homegrown restaurants, organic activity, and a lot of new technology companies and workers, and, and people like you that are committed to seeing economic vitality occur in this marketplace. And today we're here to celebrate that. So Facility Source, Bill, thank you so much for your investment uh, in this particular, uh, this particular region. I couldn't be more excited to, to just to be here and celebrate your success, and we look forward to continued job growth and we'll, we'll keep an eye on you and see what we can do to help you continue to grow jobs in this market. So thank you again. Congratulations. I know she need my glasses as well. So uh, with that, I'll bring up someone that needs no introduction, which is uh, Bill Hayden with Facility Source. So. Um, Thank you very much. Uh, I want to thank the mayor and the city and the Economic uh, Development Council. It's all been critical in us landing here. Um, we've had a presence in Phoenix for quite some time, 
uh, associates who worked from that last office. You want to raise your hand real quick? So it was uh, not in the greatest section of town. Uh, it was uh, surrounded by strip clubs and uh, body shops. It was right by the airport. So it was kind of by design. We could bring anybody here. And they like it. You bring people from that side of town here, and it's like through the roof, right? So our productivity is out of, out of, uh, out of this world. But um, I think, you know, I want to thank not only the folks that are here introducing us uh, to the marketplace and to Midtown, but also our associates. Um, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be growing the way we are, um, and our customers and our, and our vendor partners. We've really been uh, on fire recently, and it would be nothing without all the people that are here working from this office as well as our other offices. We have 450 associates. Um, we have about 150 of them here, um, and we're looking to grow everywhere. Um, so we're looking to expand here, expand the space here. And, and I want to truly thank all of the employees that showed up and their plus ones uh, for coming. And this is a facility source party, so if, as long as you do drink alcohol, you should be drinking. Um, <laughs> And, uh, you know, I think about, the, about Midtown, we really liked it. It's a, it's a vibrant community. We talked about the museums, the restaurants. Um, we, we really are looking forward to get to know the area, um, find our places to go eat and, and have fun as a, as a company, um, including the museums and the restaurants and everything else. So um, the light rail, again, it was great for us. You know, having that access was a big part of why we chose the space, um, having it right, come right down Central Ave. So, we're extremely excited um, about being here. And again, thank, thank to the associates for everything they're doing and, and uh, all the great positive feedback we got about the building. Um, and, and to your point, Chris, the building owner was great. Um, we had a very aggressive timeline. We moved in. The space was great. There was a lot of hard work to get it done. Um, but we got in. We, got, we did a massive phone upgrade at the same time just because we're gluttons for punishment. Um, <laughs> But it's a great opportunity for us to grow, a great opportunity for our associates to grow with us, um, and we're looking forward to being a part of Midtown uh, for, for a long time to come. So, um, yes? So I'll do a tour, a yep. food tour with your associates. Yeah, <laughs> sure. And show them where all the great restaurants are, and all also right. where during lunch the bargains are. Perfect. <laughs> we'll, take, we'll take you up on that. <laughs> we, you missed happy hours, but we'll, we'll, we'll cover that later. Um, <laughs> So, you know, it's a great chapter for us as a, as a company. Um, we, lo we love being in Midtown. We love uh, the, the energy that we're feeling being in this building and in this space. And I uh, also want to thank the team that put this event together. Uh, the, the marketing team just did a fantastic job pulling all this together uh, the, between the music and the food and all, everything you see here. Um, I just want to shout out Hannah and her crew for putting all that together. It's very good. So. One group I would like to thank that hasn't we haven't talked about yet is Arizona State University. Angela Creeden did a phenomenal job in helping us with um, getting things going and making connections. So we would be remiss if we didn't mention Angela and all the hard work that she did from the university side. Um, so with that, we will get ready to do this great ribbon cutting.